and in headlines from around the military, the Air Force for the first time has test launched its Red Dragon system overseas. The Red Dragon is an airborne delivery system meant to allow cargo planes, like this MC-130J Commando, to act like bombers by loading them with packages that can launch missiles. Called the Bomb Bay in a Box, the system is loaded into a pallet and launched out the back to fire the weapon. Once the package steadies, the Red Dragon releases a warhead, in this case a surface-to-air standoff missile, which flies to its target. The recent test was performed at a test range in Norway by the 352nd Special Operations Wing. Further flight line testing was done in Poland the same week, in which airmen loaded the system into a C-130 Hercules. The goal of the palletized munitions, as they're called, is to allow the military more options to deliver standoff weapons in the case of a major fight where the Air Force can't fly the mission. And in the entertainment world, it's a fine time for military documentaries. Three films looking at aspects of the military are now available in your living room. The first, a Netflix documentary that looks at the murder of Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen at Fort Hood in 2020. Released this week, the film looks at the wide-ranging implications of the case. What's your name? Sexual assault scandals are the new norm for the military. Clearly an epidemic. We had no other choice but to go and fight for legislation under my sister's name. The military counts on survivors and their families staying quiet, and they miscalculated it dramatically. If we got Congress to listen, then we can get Congress to pass the bill. This is our last chance. They do not support the full Vanessa Kean Act. We have to really push on them. This is not a Republican, Democratic issue. This is not a race issue. This is a human issue, so it should be everyone's issue. Second up, also from Netflix, is the story of a Marine and bodybuilder who killed her husband, also a Marine, in the 1990s. Sally didn't talk about what was happening with Ray. And I've learned to suppress things and block them out. To me, this was a premeditated murder. He was shot in the face while on the ground. I have a right to defend myself. I couldn't take it anymore. I, I didn't want to die. Killer Sally is a limited series out now. And finally, if World War II is more your pace, a documentary narrated by Gary Sinise has also hit the various streaming platforms. Into Flight Once More charts the recreation of the journey of a squadron of soldiers across the North Atlantic to Normandy in 1944. We have many people, very different backgrounds, and everyone's coming together to accomplish a common mission. We're 20 short weeks away from launch time, and when I walked in the hangar the other day, I thought, these guys got a long way to go. It's our first ocean crossing, so, you know, Put a lot of faith in our engine builder. Engine's not happy, we'll turn right around and come back. 15 individual groups of people took it upon themselves to raise the money and get their airplanes in shape, scratch out two months of their lives to honor our forefathers that uh, fought for our freedom. We'll be making one left turn to final. Copy that. That movie is available for purchase or rent.